You're embarrassing yourself and you're embarrassing your family. Do these protesters not know that our soldiers see that on TV? I'd like to go over to Vietnam, track down all the boys in the neighborhood and give them a beer. I could do that. Do what? Bring him beer. He's not serious. He's hammered. Look at him. The man's stone sober. That's his fifth beer, maybe. Tops. I'm going to Vietnam and I'm bringing him beer! Yeah! Yeah, that was Bill Murray right there as the bartender. Earlier this week, I told you uh, about the new Zac Efron movie directed by two-time Oscar winner Peter Farrelly called The Greatest Beer Run Ever. It's based on the true story about a man who actually goes to Vietnam back in the day during the war to bring beers to his hometown buddy. Uh, the movie begins streaming on Apple TV Plus tomorrow. It is also opening at select theaters in the Chicago area tomorrow. And Pete Jones is the movie's screenwriter and he joins us this morning nice to have you here with us uh, morning thanks for Good having to me see appreciate you. it i don't know if i'm more impressed that you're a big time uh, screenwriter or that you were an actor in dumb and dumber <laughs> oh, that is oh, yeah. a credential <laughs> among credentials my friend. yeah i was sort of born to uh, play a part in dumb and dumber <laughs> <laughs> it came quite naturally but it, people might remember you from project uh, uh, greenlight yes yeah yeah with the, uh, 20, back in the day yeah 20 some odd years ago it's wow. kind of weird uh, when I, I'll see some college students that are film students and they study Project Greenlight, yeah. you know, and, and so they'll come up and be like, hey, yeah, I, I saw you get your butt kicked on TV. Oh, like, no. Like, oh, hey, great. Nice to meet yeah. you. But that did open doors. That was that Ben Affleck, Matt Damon project where they, they tried to find an original screen and it, it did open doors for you, yes? It did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I have nothing but fond memories of it. Uh, you know, I got to come back to Chicago, shoot the movie, um, and it did. It was, you know, a lot of people say, hey, how do you break into screenwriting? Yeah. And it's hard for me to give them advice because yeah. I want a contest. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but it, it was a great opportunity, yeah. and, yeah. and uh, I appreciate Matt and Ben for, for giving me that shot. Wow. Did that put more pressure on you, though? Be because you came out of this very highly publicized project, I mean, the spotlight was on you. Let's, let's see what he's got. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure about pressure because it did open doors, but sure, I, I, you know, when I was walking in and, you know, to try to pitch a story and be a serious screenwriter, People wanted to talk about a TV show and a, you know, a reality TV guy, and you know, you kind of wanted to be like, well, actually, I'm first act, second act, character arc, and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, no, no, but tell us more about, uh, yeah. you know, uh, Matt and Ben and, yeah. and, and their friendship. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, all right, yeah, all right. All yeah. right. So, uh, was your connection with Peter Farrelly, the, the director of Greatest Beer Run, does it go back to, to Dumb and Dumber? Uh, no, no, it doesn't go back that far. It goes back uh, about 20 years or so. And uh, it was funny, on, on this project, Pete calls me up and, you know, without, I hope it doesn't sound like I'm Hollywood named, but he's one of my closest friends. And he calls me up and he says, uh, I think I've got a project. I mean, this is really right up your alley. And I'm like, what, what, what is it? He goes, it's about a guy who brings beer to guys in Vietnam. <laughs> I'm like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I'm in, I can do this. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, I, I work with Pete and his brother Bobby uh, a lot. Yeah. And, and it's this, based on a book. Yes, it's based on a true story yeah. about There's a guy who still is still alive today. He's an awesome guy, Chicky Donahue, uh, and kind of a moronic thing to do. I mean, who would think of like, hey, I'll jump in a ship and go to Vietnam, bring my buddy's beer. He really did it. You, you wouldn't believe it was true if you didn't know it was true. What did it say about the war and our command of it that this guy was able to not only get over there, but actually find the guys? I, yeah, it, it, I, don't, I don't think it says a, a good thing about the military. <laughs> Which was crazy, though, because their thought process was, well, who would come to a war right. if they weren't working in the war. Yeah. And, and Everybody so, was trying to stay out of the war. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and right. the way he was dressed, he looked as if he was CIA. Uh -huh. And what we didn't know when we were doing the research is that the military and the CIA don't like each other, don't trust each other for reasons that factually we find out. Are, you know, yeah. but, uh, and so nobody wanted to mess with him, and so he kind of leaned into that. That, yeah. that idea of, yeah, I'm CIA, and that's how we got around the country. Yeah. So how, how do you go about the uh, adaptation process then? You have Chickie's uh, book that he wrote, and then you and I know Peter Farrelly, and I think somebody else also co-wrote. Yeah, Brian Curry. You, Brian Curry. Yep. Um, you know, how, how do you sit down to... Uh, you know, make this work for a motion picture. So we actually, uh, so th there was the book, and then we uh, we went. Uh, Chicky lives in the winter time. He lives in Florida, and so we went down and uh, met with him for about a week, 
and you know just went over everything and it was funny when we first walked in Chickie's like this very Irish Catholic New Yorker and when we walk in he looks at Pete Fairley and he goes ah I see a little bit of Irish in you and then the second guy Brian Curry comes in and he's like okay now we're I walk in and he goes I see the map of Ireland on your face <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that was a compliment but, but uh, we hit it off and and we wanted to go a little bit deeper than he did with the book which right. is just these great stories but to talk about you know family and that kind of stuff to try to yeah. build an arc out for for Chicky and uh, but what a storyteller yeah. the guy yeah. is just incredible did and it change his view of the war yes yeah it absolutely didn't he uh the things he didn't talk about in the book because he didn't want to get into it was he had issues with his sister who was anti-war and Chicky was very pro-America, hey, we always do the right thing. Yeah. And going to Vietnam opened his eyes. And, uh, and the crazy thing is, there's a guy who didn't have a high school education. He came back and said, I gotta do something with my life, and ended up going to Harvard. Wow. Yeah, graduating wow. from Harvard and being a big union boss in, huh. in New York. And you're still, you still live uh, in Chicagoland? Uh, yes. And you yeah. married your high school sweetheart here. I did, I did. Uh, oh. My wife, uh, poor wife Jenny. Um, <laughs> she, uh, she takes care of the family when I'm, when I'm out in L.A. But yeah, we moved back. We lived in L.A. for 10 years and then moved back to Deerfield in 06. Yeah. And, uh, and raising the family there and couldn't be happier. Well, it's a pleasure thank to you. have you here. Ah, thank you. I thank appreciate it. Thank you for coming it. on. The greatest beer run ever uh, <laughs> is, which is just the greatest. You just can't uh, believe it's ever. true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it will be in select theaters around the Chicago area tomorrow, and also streaming on Apple TV Plus uh, at the Pickwick, Elk Grove, uh, the Chatham Cinema. There's a whole list uh, we'll put up on the web. Uh, you can go check out, and there's your social media. Uh, tags also, uh, and uh, thank you for coming by. It's good to meet you. Good to see you. Thanks, Appreciate Pete. it. Thank you. Tommy.